Today I'm going to show you a really nifty app for language learning that is just super convenient, especially when copying and pasting between a phone and a laptop can be tricky. So imagine you want to get the definition of this character, but you don't have your phone, or you don't remember what the character is, or for any number of reasons, you just need its definition. Imagine if there was a way you could get a pop-up on your computer that would do just that by simply uh, pressing the keyboard shortcut Control C C. Da da! There is. It's called Golden Dict for Golden Dictionary, um, and it gives you a little pop-up that gives you the opinion and the definition, and that is nifty. And even better, it'll do multiple characters at once. These two together, America. This one by itself, pretty. All three of these, American. And this little window can move around. It's fantastic. Really good for language study. So how do you get this, this dream set up on your computer, you ask me? It's simple. Quite simple. Well, it's a little tricky. That's why I'm making a video. First, you get the program. I just searched for Golden Dict Download, and I clicked on the first link. And the reason I trust it is because, look at the green web address, Golden Dict. The other ones... Like that's the Windows Store is probably okay, but you know, this is the thing I'm looking for. And so then you can click on the 32 bit Windows installer right there, and that'll just download in a second. It's going to take a few seconds, which is how it works usually. And while we're doing that, um, this program does not come with any dictionaries besides Wikipedia, so you have to go get your own. But the good news is it supports a ton of them. And so again, uh, thanks to the handiness of my, I'm going to stop that because I've already got it installed. Thanks to the handiness of my web searching, I will provide a link for you to this list. All of these are dictionaries that you could add to this program, each and every one of them. The only one you really want is the MDBG. If you'd like to experiment with the others, be my guest. I read online that this one's good. It's been good. I've been using it for more than a year. It's good enough. And instead of scrolling, you can do Control F for find and type in MDBG. Bammo. There it is. Click on that bad boy. And he will download. Maybe. There we go. Oh, man. Now it's whining about it not being super secure. Keep it. You're going to click keep. If it does this to you, it's been doing it to me, uh, just click keep. It's okay. I don't think anybody cares enough about this dictionary file to load it with malware. And I've used it for more than a year without any problems. So now, what you're going to do is you got to tell your dictionary app how to find its dictionary. So I already set this up once. So here's golden dict right here. Edit. You go to edit, then dictionaries. And then you'll notice that mine has already got MDBG ready to go. But that's no good for you. You want to know how I did it, don't you? Yes, you do. So first, I'm going to show you how to remove this dictionary and then add it. The first key concept is dictionary sources. The way this program works is it looks at all the folders in this list and it scans them for dictionaries. And if it finds a dictionary, it uses it. And if it can't find it anymore, it stops using it. And you can add all the sources you want. So for instance, uh, currently the folder you see here, this is a Dropbox folder I have spe specifically reserved for these dictionary files. But I could pick anything else. Suppose I wanted to put dictionaries along with my music, which Windows can't access. I could do that. But I don't want to put dictionaries with my music. Um, and I don't want to select one that Windows can't access. We're going to just see if it lets us anyways. So now it's got another one on there. Um, so there's, oh no, it didn't. There's just another one on there. Anyways, so this is the important one right here. So now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dictionary, we're gonna take this, no, I would not like to accept the changes. Um, cancel, we're gonna remove that one. So if you, don't, if you have a source you don't want, I don't want this source, you can click remove. So there's this dictionary here. We're going to get rid of it and re-add it for practice so that you know how to do this. So you're going to open up your folders. 
So right here on the left, this is my designated folder in Dropbox called Golden Dict that the program's pointing to, and it's looking for dictionary files, and it has them. This one, this, come on you, come on you. This one, this one, and this one. These three are what you need. So to show you how to remove it, we're going to take these three, and we're just going to delete them because we have a backup copy right here. So we're going to take these three, and we're going to delete them. If you hit Backspace on Windows, it goes back it doesn't delete and this this particular keyboard does not have a delete key so we take these three these dictionaries and we're going to delete them yes I am very sure oh I gotta close golden golden dictionary first cancel close try again try again okay we gotta really close it quit it closes to the tray, which means that if you really want it closed, you got to right-click the little icon down here and click quit like I just did. Your folder will also not have these links. We're going to put those over here just to copy them. This thing just does not want to, just is afraid of deleting things. And so we're going to delete those two. Yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back and open up Golden Dictionary again. Shoot. This is running in a virtual machine on my Mac, so um, here we go. Start Golden Dictionary. So now it's starting up again, and it's over here in the corner. I'm going to click on that little icon. I'm going to go to Edit Dictionaries. So currently, it didn't find the dictionary because it scans this folder right here. Look again at Sources, Sources, Mac, Dropbox, Golden Dict, this folder, Mac, Dropbox, Golden Dict, no dictionary, doesn't find dictionary. But check this out. So you're going to download your dictionary to your downloads folder. Um, and what we're going to do real quick is that would be this guy right here. And as you can see, I already have a copy of him over here. Um, and we're going to re-extract him just for practice. Let's see here. That's empty. Good. We're going to delete that. Delete. So you would take this guy and you would extract him. And the way you do that is you're going to take him, right click. Oh, you know what? This one looks more updated. Oh, it's this guy. It's the bzip2, .tar.bz2. That's the file you want. And you're going to do um, open with and on Windows. Let's see here. On Windows, you can get any, any number of unzip programs because this particular program is inside of um, a virtual machine. It might be. It might give us a little bit of a pain if we're unzipping it. I'm not sure why it doesn't have the. It doesn't have an extract tool built in. But once you extract it, there will be a folder with these three dictionary files in it. You'll need all three. So over here. You're going to go back to that designated folder, which is in Dropbox, Golden Dick. That's my folder. You can make the same one, or you can make it somewhere else. You're going to take these three folders. So you're going to take your little tar bz2 file. You're going to right-click it and extract it. And once you've extracted it, you'll get a little folder with these three guys inside. You're going to take these three, the .dz, the no extension, and the .ifo, and you're going to drag them into your designated scan folder. And then... When you go back to Golden Dictionary, still doesn't have it. We're going to go to Sources. So again, it's watching this folder. So when I click Rescan Now, it found it. And look at that. There it is. There it is. Uh, another thing to note, I have the English Wikipedia Dictionary disabled. The way you enable and disable is you drag them between these two boxes. So I can enable Wikipedia, um, and then I can hit Apply. Okay. Then we'll go back to our little sample thing. And if I enable Wikipedia, control, copy, copy, control, CC. Oh, it didn't show up. How odd. Oh, no, there it is. So Wikipedia is a little slower. So Wikipedia also has all kinds of helpful details, which, you know, that's great. That's not bad. But the truth is, all I really need is this little box here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Golden Dictionary file here, to the program. I'm going to go Edit Dictionaries. 
and I am going to take the English Wikipedia and drag it to inactive or disabled dictionaries and click apply OK. Because it takes time to load things from the internet and I don't need it. So now, when I select that same character and do control CC, bow, fast. No waiting and no wasted space with the Wikipedia definition. And so that is that is most of what you want. Now a couple quick tips. It can do most pretty much every single individual character, but it can also do combo characters occasionally. Uh, it doesn't have, it's not an exhaustive dictionary, so just because it's not in here doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So like this isn't an actual phrase, or like this is a, yeah, this isn't anything. But then it'll guess, and it'll say, maybe you mean Megworin, or maybe you mean Megworin Ming, and then it'll give me something else. So it's pretty good at guessing, and this is just a very nifty tool. Uh, another thing to note is there's a pin button right here. You want to make sure that you have this pin button clicked so this stays on top, because once you have the pin selected, it gives you a little grabber bar so you can put this anywhere you want, so that you can be working on stuff. If you put something else in, we could just get it right away. So it's very convenient, easy to use. Um, getting it set up, I'll be honest, it's a bit of a pain, but it's once it's set up it's beautiful it's immaculate all these links for all these downloads will be available in the description so thanks for watching and um, see you on the next one